Hi guys, Nurse Casey here, medical advisor with Premom. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all of our helpful information from our Premom providers. Also, don't forget if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we will try to get back to them as soon as possible. Okay, today's topic, IUI and timing, right? So when do we time an IUI? First of all, what is an IUI? All right, so IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. So this is a procedure that is done with a specialty provider, such as a fertility doctor, done in office where they will take a small flexible catheter, very flexible, and they thread that past your cervix where they put nice, washed, healthy sperm directly into the uterus. So why is this beneficial or what's the difference between just having timed intercourse at home, right? So the whole purpose of an artificial insemination or an IUI is to get the sperm as close to the fallopian tubes as possible. Okay, so making sure that they're up towards the top of the uterus, ready to just swim down your fallopian tubes. Now, when you have intercourse, right, you're just having sex and the sperm is deposited at the top of the vagina where the cervix is. So therefore, the sperm have to swim through the cervix all the way up into the uterus and then down the fallopian tubes, which a lot of them don't typically survive that. So when you're doing an IUI, you're taking this washed sample that has a higher concentration of healthy and modal sperm, and you're putting them directly towards the top of the uterus. They don't have as far to swim, and it does, you know, there are some success rates with that. However, when do you time the IUI? Great question. So when timing an IUI, you want to make sure that you're doing it right during or before ovulation. Having the sperm in the uterus right prior to ovulation is even better because then those sperm are sitting in the fallopian tubes waiting for that egg to drop. So how do you know when you're ovulating? right? The best way I recommend to all of my clients, and I've been a fertility nurse for a while now. I used to work in a fertility clinics and I used to work one-on-one -on -one with patients going through artificial and set semination. The best way to know when you're ovulating is by using your LH kits, right? So you want to start tracking doing those LH kits right when your period ends all the way up until you see that you have a clear peak. When you reach that clear peak, you want to be calling your fertility doctor. Now, some people may be taking some fertility medications and that's okay. You want to follow your doctor's orders, make sure you're doing as they say. However, you can still be LH tracking at home, using your kits at home, testing your urine every day to see when your body's producing those higher levels of LH. Now, typically that luteinizing hormone, that big burst in luteinizing hormone is a sign to us that ovulation is going to happen within those 24 to 36 hours. So when you see that positive surge, you want to be either calling your fertility clinic, you know, making sure that you're scheduling that or that you have an appointment to follow up, whether it's a sonogram appointment, or maybe you're using a trigger shot or anything like that, whatever your doctor's orders are, but you want to make sure you're timing your insemination right prior to ovulation or right during ovulation. For example, if you get your LH surge today, then your IUI would probably be scheduled for tomorrow, right? Within that 24 hour window, because that's when ovulation can occur within 24 to 36 hours of your LH surge. I hope this information was helpful for you guys. If you're planning on doing IUI, I wish you the best of luck. Fingers crossed, baby dust to you. And like I said before, don't forget to like and subscribe to Premom's YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you want to ask me below, just go ahead, drop a comment below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day, guys.